Some of my students are customer support people. They help customers with problems about a certain product that they、uh, maybe sell or a certain product that they do service for. And、uh, they've sometimes told me about some of their problems, some of the problems with customers that they have to deal with. So I want to go over a couple of、uh, a couple of those situations and maybe how we can handle the situation as a, a customer support person. Okay, so. Let's let's get started. If a customer is really angry about something that you said you would do, okay, you're supposed to help the customer. The customer is a little bit angry about something. They asked you, for example, ah,、oh, you said you were going to give this to me by Monday, but it's still not here, right? So, how can you make them calm down? How can you make the customer relax? Let's look at a few phrases we can use, okay? I'm doing everything I can. This is just a phrase that you would use to make the customer feel more comfortable, to make them feel like ah, at least they're trying hard. I'm not being ignored. So it's something that the the customer support person might say to the customer just to make them feel better, to make them feel that something is going on at least. Okay, I'm doing everything I can, or I'm doing everything I can. You might add doing everything I can. To resolve this. Now, what's the difference between solve and resolve?、Uh, resolve means there's an issue or there's a problem, and I'm going to make the problem go away.、Uh, solve means you find the answer to the problem. So the feeling is different. There's an issue. There's a conflict. There's a problem. To resolve it means it goes away. It's not here anymore. So we would resolve conflict, resolve problems. Now we might add to this. I'm doing everything I can to resolve this.、Um, so if the customer emailed you and said, "Oh, where is this thing? It's supposed to be here." I'm doing everything I can to resolve this, whatever the problem is. I will keep you updated. That means if something new happens, you, the customer, will be the first to know. I will tell you. Don't worry. Okay. So this is one thing you can say just to make the customer feel a little bit more comfortable. Now we can also show sympathy with the customer, and sympathy is really important in customer service to make people feel again comfortable. Sympathy, if you don't know, basically just means that you show that you understand the other person, the customer's situation, and you feel their situation in some way. That means you have the same emotion with them. You're in their place in some way. To show sympathy means to show your understanding. So we might say something like this: <clears throat> "I understand your frustration." Or we might say, "I'm right there with you." <clears throat> I'm right there with you. Then we could say, after "I understand your frustration," bear with me, and I'll take care of it. ASAP, or sometimes people say ASAP. You can say ASAP. You can say ASAP. I usually say ASAP. Bear with me means wait with me. I'm trying hard. Understand that I'm trying hard to help you, the customer. So bear something means hold on. Okay. If you're doing something difficult and you want another person to just be patient. Say, bear with me, bear with me. If maybe my video is broken or something, and I'm trying to fix something or find a different color, I would say, bear with me, bear with me. I'm trying to, I'm trying to find the color pink. Ah,、uh, the color pink. Bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. Oh, that's not pink. There it is. Ah, okay. There's pink. Bear with me means be patient, be patient. Okay. So you could say this to the customer to make them feel. Ah, okay. I understand that you understand my situation. I know you're working hard to do this and help me, so I will. Okay, and it's just another way to make the customer feel better. Bear with me while I erase this. Now, one other thing that you might do in the situation is to show the customer that action is being taken, that they don't need to worry because the result is soon. Okay, so we might say, "Will <laughs> it's still pink?" Bear with me. Let me change this back to white. We'll have this sorted out soon, or we could say in no time. 
in no time. In no time means very soon. And it's a common phrase that we use in replacement of soon, to replace soon. We'll have this sorted out in no time. That is supposed to make the customer feel comfortable that the action that is being taken is almost completed and that might relieve some of their frustration. Maybe they're waiting for something. You know, they want it by Monday. It's already Monday. And so they're angry. And so we want to, we want to show them that, that the, the solution is near. The solution is near. Now, sometimes we might actually thank the customer for being patient, for waiting because maybe what they were expecting was taking too long. It should be here by Monday. It's not here. Where is it? And we explain that we're doing something. We're, we're you know, taking some action. We want to then at the end, thank them for being patient. I appreciate your patience. Thanks for your patience. I appreciate your patience. Thanks for your patience. Now, this would be to assume that they are already being patient, that they are already waiting, that they already did wait. Maybe it's Tuesday and you're talking to them and they waited and when it was supposed to come on Monday, they were patient and you appreciate that. You're thankful, okay? To recognize that they are a good customer, that they're you know, not being too angry and that, that helps you. But if you want them to, and they're not doing it now, or they haven't yet, uh, maybe there's an issue, maybe there's a problem, maybe you need to call them on Sunday and say, listen, I'm sorry, but uh, it won't arrive tomorrow. I would appreciate your patience. In this situation, we say, I would appreciate your patience. Now in this situation, would is really important. Don't say will. If you say, I will appreciate your patience, that's weird. First, it means you must be patient and it will make the customer feel, uh, I have to, I have to. That, that will make them feel pressured, uncomfortable, maybe more angry. But if you say, I would, it's not a real situation. It means, I hope you will be, I want you to be, I hope you will be, that's my desire. And if you are, I will be thankful. I would appreciate your, pa your patience sounds much more gentle and much more polite. Okay, so these are just some ways that we can maybe deal with someone who is a customer who is impatient. Now, after we have solved the customer's problem, remember we are a customer support person. We're supposed to help the customer. After we have solved their problem, we may use a couple of phrases to show them that we are always willing to help them in the future, to show them that uh, they can always come to us for help and to make sure that they are satisfied with the service that they got from us. And so usually at the end of the solution, that means the problem has been solved, right? The problem has been resolved. Uh, that would maybe be a better way to say it. That means there is no problem anymore. Um, we can use phrases like this. If there's anything else I can do, let me know. Or we could say, just let me know. If there's anything else I can do, let me know. This shows the customer that you're willing to always help them. Okay. If they have another problem in the future, there are a couple variations of this that we might look at. And so let's do that. Let's look at a couple of different ways we might say basically the same thing. And again, this is really common for customer support people, especially over the phone. Don't hesitate to ask if there's anything else you need. Now, else is kind of important here because this means the problem has been solved, but if you have another problem, another problem, we use else to show another problem, then I'm the person to ask, okay? Don't hesitate means don't wait. Hesitate means to be cautious and wait a little bit before doing something or to delay a bit before doing something. Don't hesitate to ask. Now, this one is not only common in this situation for helping a customer. This one would be really common in any situation where you want to show someone your willingness to help them. Okay, maybe you have a friend and uh, you want to tell your friend they helped you. So you want to tell them, hey, 
don't hesitate to ask if you need anything. Right? Maybe your friend is visiting your city. Don't hesitate to ask if you want to, to hang out. That means I'm not inviting you, but if you want to do something, if you need me, I'm here. Don't hesitate to ask if there's anything you need. It's common in many different situations. Okay, let's look at another variation of this one. Now, this one would probably be something that you would only say on the phone. You probably wouldn't say this in an email. If you need anything further, I'll be here. This is similar to saying if you need anything else. Else means another thing, right? An extra thing besides the issue which we just solved. If you need anything further, again, this is the same thing. Further is another thing that's not this issue, probably. It means basically more, okay? If you have another problem, if you have another question, whatever it is, if you need anything further, I'll be here. What does here mean? Here means I will be the person who you talked to this time. I will be the one who can help you. Here doesn't mean necessarily physically here, okay? Uh, and you can use this phrase, I'll be here, in a lot of different situations, not only in this situation. If someone is going away, it says, I need to go to the bathroom, you can just say, I'll be here. I'll be here. That means I'm not going to move, okay? I'm not going to move. So I'll be here might uh, be for a situation where you want to show someone that you're willing to help them. I'll be here if you need me. I'll be here if you need me. Or when you want to make a customer feel more comfortable to show them that if in the future they need help, you will be the one to help them. If you need anything further, I'll be here. If you need anything further, let me know. Or it just means I won't move. I will stay where I am. I'll be here. Okay, so uh, try to use these in other situations uh, similar to this, but maybe in your daily life. See you next time.